New data released on the Avoid Opioid website shows even more suspected opioid overdoses in South Dakota. According to the State Department of Health, data gathered from hospitals and clinics shows a 700% increase over three years. Now, through November of this year, there have been 149 suspected opioid overdoses in South Dakota. Now, that's compared to just 18 in 2015. The opioid epidemic has been in the headlines for years now, but how do these drugs really work? What do they do to the human body to make people give up everything just for their next fix? Well, we spoke with a local doctor who specializes in opioid addiction to find out. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services issued a public health alert about the dangers of opioid addiction. Locally, doctors are seeing the issue firsthand. There are changes that are happening in their brain. Dr. Jennifer Tingley works for the Sioux Falls Community Health. She says the physical impact opioids have on users is often misunderstood. Unfortunately, it's not usually something people can just give up on their own. We actually can see changes within the brain tissue. We see that there are changes in the amount of chemicals that are released in the brain. So to me, that is a physiological, there is something happening within the body that makes this a disease, just like diabe diabetics struggle with insulin. This is also why most people who do try to get help will relapse. They don't feel normal without that drug on board. Um, they need that drug to feel better, to not feel pain, to not feel anxious, um, to feel like they can focus in their day-to-day -day life. Tingley tells her patients it's a process. Many times it takes a few steps forward and then a step back to keep moving towards the goal of healing. Just don't forget healing is possible. Let somebody know that you're struggling or you know somebody that is struggling because there is help available. And I think if we don't keep having this conversation about how important it is, we're going to keep seeing people's lives ruined and lost. Now, if you or someone you know is struggling with opioid addiction, there is a national hotline you can call at 1-800-662-4357. And don't forget to tune in next Monday at 8 p.m. Central Time as we dig even further into the opioid crisis. We'll show you how far this epidemic has spread, as well as tell you where and how to get treatment for yourself or a loved one. Don't miss our Kelloland News special report, Opioid Crisis.